My name is Emily and I study Environment and Development at the uh, London School of Economics. I, I find that I receive so many benefits from working with SHS. It's going to be a little hard to, to kind of compartmentalize them, but I, I think academically definitely. Um, as, as I was mentioning, um, that my kind of experience, my, my understanding of what it meant to promote a policy or to work with communities was enhanced by actually having the physical experience of being getting to be a part of that community. Um, but, but also personally, um, developing connections with people who I, whose doors I would have otherwise never knocked on was an incredible experience. Um, I felt that we were, that, that myself and the house owner kind of shared a, a vulnerability when I came knocking at their door and because I was asking them to listen to me and to maybe let, let me into their home so that I might be able to help them. And they had to kind of take a leap of faith and trust me that I was as legitimate and and that my, that my mission was as authentic and real as I was presenting it to be. So together, when, when I did conduct a survey, the, the homeowner and I, or the, or the tenant, would kind of take this leap of faith and just kind of be vulnerable, and we would share maybe five, ten minutes together, and, and, and then I would move on and be knocking at someone else's door. And, and that experience of just intense personal connection, whereby we were both kind of letting down our walls a little bit, just so that we might be able to help each other was really beautiful and was a really great great thing for me to experience at um, in, in a city which I think a lot of people don't get to do that in and that was what made it really great too. My name is Arya Georgia. I'm studying human geography at the School of Economics. When people did open up their doors and they were willing to answer the questions they were very I this also changed via area which is also very interesting but the reactions you got when they found out they were actually there to help them and were there to provide them with some kind of support. Um, the reactions were definitely positive and there were definitely some cases that were very motivational both to myself but as well for a sustainable home survey. So I'm Waiza and um, I study at King's College. I'm doing the Masters in Sustainable Cities program. Um, I think we're with um, a lot of the coursework, it was very theoretical and more academic. I think SHS was a good complement in the sense that it provided a sort of practical um, outlet to what I was learning in class. After working at SHS for a while, I had to conduct my own independent research project uh, where I actually got in touch with SHS and they were very helpful in the sense that they allowed me to use certain data that was collected through the surveys. I've been learning at school or at university um, that one of the best ways to initiate policy is to start from the start from the bottom up. So it was really great for me to to get my get my kind of first experience in that with H with SHS. And the second way that it was relevant was in terms of approach and and how we went about uh, promoting environment and development in the communities that SHS went into. And it was a very participatory <coughs> approach. It was a very um, community-based approach so that everything that we did, um, we, we kind of started bottom-up and, and nurtured relationships with the community. I think it's just good to give your methods, like that you use in social research anyway, like some reality rather than reading about it in a textbook and just it being a reference on a page. Like now that I've actually done it, I feel like I can speak a bit more confidently about it. And hmm. I guess it was just like, it was kind of handy just to see how quantitative data is built up and made. It's kind of fun. This is part of uh, public policies in sustainability will be very useful for me in the future. I didn't manage to incorporate it yet, but it was good to have a general view of it, how people react to sustainability, public policies, and how they understand it. It was useful just to have this general overview and to understand it. It was also clear that the reasons we were surveying homes was not just so that we might help get them on a more sustainable path, but also so that we might help them live in warmer homes and better homes. How, how did you find the environment of uh, your fellow surveyors? And oh, I thought students? that was great because um, everyone's a student and I actually knew a bunch of people before. Um, like we all kind of did it together, so there was a, a sense of, I guess, not community, but um, I guess camaraderie. I, I felt that I was among intelligent and bright and, and caring, committed people, um, and, it, and they were usually small teams, and that was wonderful. Uh, yeah, people were really nice. 
they were all students, so we had a lot of a lot in common. We could talk about common topics, and so it was really nice to meet so many different people from different universities. I think the team is what makes it definitely. That's the most like fun part is just leaving as a team and coming back and chatting things over. It's good. Uh, we got to develop a bond, I think, over our shared experience of of um, having to take this leap of faith with uh, when we were knocking on doors, I guess. And and so I, I was, I both felt um, nurtured by the friendship as well as inspired by the people who I was working with. So it was really just, it was just a positive experience all around.